All right, I want to talk to you tonight about uh, how to have courage in witnessing. A lot of Christians have a hard time with that, and I will include myself in that number. And um, I'm going to show you the reason why. Now, I'm not going to be drawing uh, real high-quality art here or anything, so don't complain about that. But uh, here we have, I'm going to draw two different Christians. Okay, there's the one. Now over here we have the other one. Just rough sketches, mind you. Now, these two Christians right here both have two things in common. They both have brains, and they both have hearts. There's another thing that they have in common, and that is they both have access to a book. That book, of course, is what will save you. And that book, of course, is none other than the Holy Bible. I'll put down here KJV. All right. Put the little ribbon marker there for you. Just so you know what it is. All right. Now here's the difference between these two Christians, okay? One Christian, he puts the world in his mind. He knows what he has to do. He has to eat, he has to sleep, he has to have a job, he has to clean the house, wash the dishes, things like that. But that's just up here. He knows what he has to do, his duties for life down here on this earth. What he puts down in his heart is God's word. This one over here, instead he puts God's word in his mind. You see, he's intellectual. He studies the Bible from theological perspectives. He studies the Bible to uh, show how smart he is. But what's down in his heart? The world. There's a difference between these two. And what I'm going to tell you today is if you want to have strength and courage in witnessing, you're going to have to be this Christian over here. The Bible says, let me get my scriptures here, in Luke chapter 6, verse 45, For of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. You know how you have courage in witnessing? By putting God's Word down into your heart. If you have the world in your heart, this is what you're going to want to talk about. You see? Now, I grant you, as a Christian, this Christian over here, the good one, he has to have God, or the, uh, the aspects of the world in his mind, but that's not the desire of his life. His life doesn't revolve around what he knows he has to do. His life revolves around God's Word. This guy over here, on the other hand, he thinks more about his job and more about new cars and big houses and lands and things like that. And God's Word is just up here. It's a head knowledge. And so what happens is, this guy here, the more of God's Word he puts down into his heart, eventually God's Word is going to come up and out of his heart. Why? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And I'm going to tell you right now, Christian, the more of God's word you put down into your heart, the more is going to come out of your mouth. But uh, consequently, this guy over here, he puts a lot of the world into his heart. He's real concerned about promotions at work, 
real concerned about his home and and uh, his new vehicle that he just bought and everything else. So uh, guess what he's going to talk about when you start to talk to him? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And I'm going to tell you, the more of this you do, the less you're going to want to talk about God's Word and the less you're going to have courage to witness to people. You know, there's a lot of people that will berate you and belittle you if you do not witness much for Jesus Christ. And they'll tell you, you just have to do it. You just have to fight your way through it and do it. That's not the right answer. The right answer is given to you in God's Word. Hide His Word in your heart. I'll give you another scripture here. Psalm 119, verse 11. It says, Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. You see, the Bible also has another really good point to it. When you put it in your heart, it'll actually keep you from sinning. Very, very important to remember that. But this guy over here, there's a real serious danger with this one. And we're not going to go to there for sake of time, but 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 20 through 22, talks about people that have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And what happens to them? They go back to it. They go back to the filthiness of the world. Why? It's a head knowledge. You know, it'd be kind of like if you're married or dating or something like that, and you just have a head knowledge saying, I just, I believe that I love whoever you're dating or married to. Uh, that won't get you too far. It has to be down in the heart. So why would you think that you could witness for Jesus Christ if you don't truly love Him in your heart? If it's all intellectual? You see? And I can tell you from experience, uh, this whole thing of this uh, incident over here across from the ministry headquarters, if you haven't heard about it, they had this Christian rock concert. And uh, I have a hard time sometimes with witnessing, but uh, boy, I'll tell you what, studying all the time and reading the Word of God, this is where my heart's at. And so when I was called upon to go speak boldly and call people blasphemers, and that's what they were and that's what they are, uh, they're not repentant at all about it, so I have no qualms about calling them whatever. But the fact of the matter is, I've been hiding God's Word in my heart for years and years and years. And it came out of my mouth. It'll come out of you just like a, Jeremiah talks about, like His Word is in me like a fire. It'll just come out of you. You just you, you can't keep it in. That's how you have courage in witnessing. By hiding God's Word in your heart. Yeah, you have to take care, care of the things of the world. You have bills to pay. You have food to cook, dishes to wash, and... and a house to keep reasonably clean, and everything else. I, I know that. But uh, brethren, we need to be about the Word. We need to hide God's Word in our hearts. Because when we do, it'll come out easier. Don't be like this Christian over here. Well, as you can see, uh, the Lord uh, provided us with a chalkboard. Uh, very happy about that. And... Um, just so want to make a real quick little, short little challenging video there and uh, about witnessing. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to be doing more little chalk talks and little chalk illustrations using our chalkboard here. And uh, it's kind of interesting because I have sort of a, somewhat of a heritage in this. And um, as many people understand and know, uh, one of my mentors, spiritually speaking, was uh, Dr. Peter S. Ruckman. He does chalk talks, a little bit more fancy than this one, but uh, you know, uh, it's been a long time since I've tried to draw anything, so be patient with me. Uh, I'm not a real great artist or anything, but you know, I usually I worked with wood mostly, but uh, I can draw a little bit. But um, Dr. Ruckman was one of my spiritual mentors, but a lot of people don't know this unless you really paid attention to a lot of what I've done. But actually, my grandfather, uh, Milton Denlinger, was a chalk talk artist, uh, evangelizing through the medium of drawing things with chalk. Now, they, of course, they use paper and they use collared chalk and everything else, but uh, that's a bit advanced for me right now. <laughs> so, but I, I really think that it's a, it's a great thing 
a great way to teach to be able to have a chalkboard and just to be able to draw things out and to put scriptures up and everything else and that's what we're going to be doing a lot of we're going to be um, putting up a lot of scriptures and things on the chalkboard and uh, so we'll see how it goes I'm anxious to give it a try um, I certainly like that I, I think it's a good thing so uh, please keep us in your prayers and we will continue to come out with unique videos <laughs> okay uh, that's uh, another thing, you know, I'm, I'm going to be getting back to doing some of the Rasmussen thing, and the, I still have to, some more FAQ videos or FAQ videos, whatever you want to call them. I still have some of those to do, so I'm not not doing those and doing this now. Uh, we're doing a lot of different things, but uh, this is a this is something we prayed about for a long time. Lord showed us, gave us a good deal on this thing, so we're going to be using it for the Lord's glory, and. Uh, so that will be it. Thank you for watching and please keep us in your prayers.